So what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can install Android 9.0 Pi on your Redmi Note 4. So this is a beautiful phone almost one and a half years old right now and the processor in this thing it's a we can't say pretty new but it's almost like a two year old processor but still is used in this day and age after snapdragon 439 which is basically 625 xiaomi is still using 625 like mi2 Lite, still 625 i don't know what's the obsession with 626 with xiaomi but literally on redmi note 4 it still works like a charm and we are actually just going to make it much more beautiful because it's an old phone now you are probably lost your warranty and there is no harm in it last time many of you guys asked me is there any risk in running this no if there's any risk i will just show you guys but not the two tutorial for it because I don't want you guys growing up. So let's just begin. First of all, for the features, I basically covered everything in my developer preview 5 video. So you can just press the I button over here. But a standard highlight over here works like a charm. Unlike Redmi Note 5 Pro, there is no issue in camera at all. The camera works, the portrait mode works, then again the performance is on par. Even I tried Android Pie on my MI1 and it had minimum frame drops in PUBG thanks to Vulkan API 1.2. So that's a very amazing thing. Again, if you go to settings, you get host ton of features newer from the Pixel devices because even though it's android pie this is ported from pixel xl and it just works like charm i don't have any kind of sim but there is volty and it's fully working but you basically get almost all the features such as nightlight adaptive brightness with all the animations and stuff really looks beautiful and now there is digital well-being yes so this is just basically ai stuff to improve your battery life as you can see wind down it's just basically grayscales your phone and just tons of various stuff it's still in beta but it works extremely good and other than that if you don't want digital well-being you can always go to battery and use adaptive battery this also works extremely great just like oxygen os and as we are speaking of the battery life, I can't really say the same for the performance as we are not installing any kind of custom kernel over here. But thanks to Vulkan API 1.2 and under the hood changes in the Android Pie, we can surely enjoy smooth and minimum spikes in frame rate while gaming, especially with the games such as PUBG, which now take advantage of Vulkan API. So yeah, not a huge change, but definitely much better than MIUI 10. And then again, you have tips and support for almost all the features from Google. And yeah, they think it's a Pixel XL. So yeah, there is no issue at all. As you can see tips and support you get a contact us button then again you can just have help for anything on the home screen you just get your normal pixel excel stuff i have the wallpaper over here there you go looks great then again we have your normal google now over here pretty standard stuff the newer recent apps panel as you can see you can also copy text and stuff over here if you have chrome and stuff open okay you can literally copy anything i didn't know that wow that's pretty amazing so i thought it only works in chrome or any kind of other text tab but this is literally amazing and then we have the all new quick settings panel as you can see looks pretty beautiful it's very well organized and there is no dpi issue in redmi note 4 compared to the redmi note 5 pro which had like the icon sticking up over here and there but this just looks perfect and then let's just talk about the bugs now the only major bugs over here are the backlit keys well most of you guys would actually like it because it saves battery but yeah the backlit keys are not actually working also the fingerprint scanner works on goodix and fpc so yeah there is no complaint in fingerprint scanner but once you enroll a fingerprint if you reboot your phone the fingerprint is just gone you are just left with pattern lock so yeah kind of recommendation over here right now is don't reboot your phone else you will lose your fingerprint but that's not a major issue if you don't actually reboot your phone often like once in a week you are just basically okay like me but let's just begin with the installation because that's what we here for so first of all you will need a unlocked bootloader on the redmi note 4 now that's extremely easy as it's a 1.5 years old phone you can just basically find many videos on that once you do that you have to just follow me on pc and once you're on your pc you will need all these 12 files in order to run this thing so we'll just right now focus over here so these two things which would be the actual android pi the system img and the top would be inside a zip you have to just extract it out and let me just uh, rename something easier for the recovery which would be just Mido, which is the nickname of this phone. We will just keep that inside the ADB folder and just open the ADB folder and then grab your phone, power it off and hold on your volume down and power at the same time. You should be knowing this while unlocking a bootloader. So yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. There you go. Fast boot mode. Connect the phone to your PC, just like that. Open CMD and type in fast boot devices. If it says some random number and fast boot, that means your device has been connected. Then type in fast boot lash recovery middle.img. Just like that, hit enter and it will flash a custom recovery on your phone. Then just grab your phone and press power and volume up at the same time. Now that the phone is inside the top recovery, go to wipe, format data, type in yes. Yes, we are actually formatting your whole phone, so take a backup, hit enter. 
there you go now our partitions are finally decrypted because if you are coming from miui this is necessary so go to wipe again advanced wipe and wipe everything besides usb otg and micro sd card swipe to wipe and now we will be actually trebleizing your redmi note 4 yes if you don't already know this is not a treble phone treble was announced with android oreo and only redmi note 5 pro and some another xiaomi expensive phones are treble supported so we will be actually doing that on our redmi note 4 keep it aside the internal storage is already active over here open it we will just keep this folder aside and copy everything besides the adb folder so this then these then this and once everything has been copied, you can just turn off your laptop or PC and just sell it off on eBay. In case of mine, if you have a 1050 Ti 4 GB, you can really get a good price thanks to idiot cryptocurrency miners. So yeah. And then heading on from your phone, swipe to unlock go to install and search for the Moki ROM. Now this is actually needed in order to treble as your phone. I'm not using any kind of lineage OS or cardinal cause I think Moki is the most stable. So confirm to flash. This is a very good ROM if you want to check it, but we will just use it for trebleizing our phone. Once the ROM has been installed, you have to not reboot the system cause that's just the Moki ROM. So go to home, go to wipe, advanced wipe and just wipe the system again, which will keep the vendor. So our phone is now treble enabled. Go to install again, install image. This is the Android Pi. This is the first table build released for the Pixel XL. System image, confirm to flash. And Android Pi has finally installed on your phone. But that's not it. You have to actually turn your vendor into Android P2. So for that, reboot recovery, reboot, recovery, confirm. Now that you are inside the recovery again, go to mount, system, vendor, persist, everything. Go to home, go to install. And now we will apply the patches. So first of all, post one, add zip, post two, add zip, post three. Confirm to flash. Once that is done successfully, go back again, select Volti fix. Now this will actually fix the Volti on your phone, disable the nav bar, enable the camera API too for the Google camera, and then just apply blue accents just like Pixel phone. So this is a really good all-in-one fix. Confirm to flash. And then if you have any kind of errors in Google camera app, just flash camera fix. And then again, if you also encounter any kind of lag in UI, which you will kind of do as it's a two year old processor, just flash this P lag fix. There you go, simple and easy. And just remember you have to do this in first boot only, otherwise it won't work. So yeah, you are basically done with Android Pie reboot system. Do not install. And congrats, you have Android Pie 9.0 on your phone, the latest and the greatest and the 10th anniversary of Android. And our phone is back up in roughly three minutes, which is a very good timing for a two year old processor. But let's just start now fixing things. So first of all, we will take care of the stupid notifications and complete the actual setup. So for that, you will need a custom play services. So go to files, show internal storage, go to pixel XL and search the play services. Now we will just install everything right over here. So starting with what's the app play services. Okay, done. Then the camera continue install. Then the digital well-being. Now this is not necessary, but if you want to just improve the battery life, which is literally amazing, thanks to 4,000 million amp battery and the efficient processor, but just extra juice, done. Now let's just check out the camera. Here you go. Just drag it over here. Allow, 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 allow. There you go, works like charm. Go into the settings. Again, settings work, no crash at all. So we have fixed that. And then let's just take a look at the notifications. As you can see, already gone. We are completing the setup now. Connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, my Wi-Fi is gone. Now this will take around good five to 10 minutes to prepare itself. So we will just fix another things. So second thing would be the lock screen lag. So for example, if you try it right now, log your phone, tap the lock button, takes a good second over there in order to unlock. So we will fix that by going to system, gestures, and just turn off everything just like that. And there should be no lag at all. And then we will fix the MTP between your PC and phone. So going to the about phone and just tap the build number a few times, just like that. Also, there you go, Android 9 just beautiful by tapping the build number will enable developer options scroll down until you find default usb configuration select for file transfer always and there you go that's fixed so now i guess our setup is ready there you go start allow don't copy i don't have any kind of older phone don't copy enter your gmail account now let's just set up our fingerprint scanner so next pattern Tap the fingerprint scanner. Now mine is Goodix, which is the most underrated fingerprint scanner cause it just doesn't support AOSP that well. It just supports MIUI good, which is kind of the thing with almost all the Xiaomi phones. But uh, no, Goodix fingerprint definitely works extremely great. Then next, skip. I don't want Google Assistant just listening to me all the time. No thanks. All set. And there you go. That's how you turn your Redmi Note 4 into Google Pixel 3 running Android Pie. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any kind of queries, please let me know in the comment section below. I or someone else will help you. And if you like this video, please drop a like, subscribe down there and see you in the next one. Peace.
upcoming phones would be Redmi Note 5 and Mi 1. So if you have that too, just subscribe.